there were so many aspects of that game, but, but Justin particularly emphasized the first half. Just He just thought it was a bad half, and he said we were only lucky to be down 12. Do uh, you agree with, with the first half being subpar? Well, that was the message at halftime. We were fortunate to be down 12 as poorly as we played. Uh, we were poorly at, we were poor at both ends. Uh, you know, um, and we're not good good enough to not have an edge about us, and especially on the road. We never had that edge from the get go. And you can look at some stats, you can look at some things happen to us in transition that normally don't happen to us a bunch. We gave up some threes, not having that sharp edge and talking, communicating, um, and we were fouled. Well, they shoot, they make 31 free throws, shoot 35. And that tells you we're a half step slow. About Lamonte being in foul trouble in the first well, half, how much did that change things? Gotcha. Well, y'all know this, and I keep saying this, we have no margin for error three ways. Injury-wise, foul trouble-wise, and mentally-wise. Two of them got us a little bit tonight. Mentally, we weren't sharp, and foul trouble with Monte just really threw off the rhythm of what we're doing. Uh, second half, thought we got him, we were getting him going a little bit. He picks up four, has to sit down again, and don't play long, he gets five again. Never got going. We're not good enough to go on the road and beat good teams trying to overcome those kind of things. Did they say, I guess, he'd mouth off after the block for the technical? Is that what he it did. was? He said, you know, you know, get it out here. You know, shut your mouth and play. You know, that's what you got to do. And it cost him a foul. It's one of those fouls that could be the difference in him being in that game and not being in that game. And again, he was he was about in that stretch to really get it going. Thought he was starting to step it up, then he picks up that fifth foul. I see a difference between the way you guys played at home and the way you played on the road today. Just just maybe affected by playing in a different environment? Well, uh, again, we've been in neutral sites. The, the environment, it's like a neutral site game today. I mean, it wasn't no uh, home court advantage for Ohio U. They had a few people here, but it sure wasn't about noise. Their team didn't feed off of, of uh, the motivation from the stands. It's like a neutral court game. It was us. It had nothing to do where we was playing. We just didn't have that edge. And, and guys, I've told you all this. Eventually, when you don't practice the way you want to practice, the toughness and the physicalness, they'll catch up with you in that game somewhere along the way. It caught up with us. And again, you know, I've chose to make sure I got eight people on that bus or plane, you know, trying to rest as best we can, trying to keep, avoid as many injuries as we can. And we've cut practice back and cut some of the physicalness of it back. But again, eventually that kept, catches up with you and it did today. We talked about Wisconsin the other day. What, what more can you tell us about them and how tough that will be on Wednesday? Well, I mean, you just check the stats. You don't lose many games there in the last five years. They probably lost, haven't lost, you know, six or eight games in the last five years and lost a couple couple this year probably already. I mean, they're as good as anybody in that, that arena. It's going, going to be tough. And again, I've had no concerns about the way my team has responded against really good competition. I saw them down there in the Bahamas. Uh, but after today, we didn't respond very well to that now at all, and that disappoints me.